Hello, good morning and praise the Lord. My name is Sylvester here in Minnesota with the Fireplace Ministry. We've been talking about rejection and uh, you know it's a very very long topic but I have to make a video that's not too long because I know many people don't have time for very long videos but I want to say that God has a remedy for rejection, for the wounds of rejection and when we trust him and we, we, we do some of the things I'm sharing with you, you can be able to, to avoid, to prevent that from happening. Hallelujah. You know, just like you drive a car and you have a seat belt, God knew that this would happen. You know, the, the, the thief comes to steal, kill and destroy. But Jesus comes that we may have life and life more abundantly. So God can give you some things to do that can stop the wound of rejection from affecting you. You know, all of us are at the risk of being rejected every day. And in this generation, it is too rampant. You know, people just reject you using a text message. People can reject you using a WhatsApp message or an email. So it is so rampant. But how do we guard ourselves from the feeling, from the pain of being rejected? How do we prevent that from happening? That is what I want to talk about. You know, the only way we can prevent us from being rejected, from feeling the pain of rejection, is when we have a blanket of love, a blanket of love. The Bible says that we have been accepted in the beloved, Ephesians chapter 1 verse 6. So number one, you must love yourself. So when children are in school, sometimes a child becomes a center of ridicule. Sometimes a child becomes um, a point of ridicule because they are different. Many times when you are different, people don't know how to deal with you how to, to, to relate with you, they end up rejecting you. But sometimes you're going to be different. What are you going to do about it? You must learn to prevent the, the, the pain from getting back to you, the, the pain of rejection. Many times, a woman may be pregnant and they don't like the baby in their womb for one reason or another. Maybe the father of the baby is treating them badly. Maybe they were just raped when they became pregnant. They may not love the baby and the baby is going to be affected by rejection. And also separation, divorce, all those things make a child feel rejected. But this is what I have to say. How do I guard myself? against rejection, against the feeling of rejection. Number one, I need to know my self-worth. That's why I said from the beginning, you need to know that you are loved. People may not like you, but you need to like yourself. Hallelujah. People may say you are nobody, but you need to know that in God, you are somebody. Hallelujah. God places a lot of value on you. God places a lot of value on you. The Bible says that you are fearfully and you are wonderfully made. You are unique. There is nobody like you and there will never be anybody like you. So you must know your self-worth. You are so valuable. So by the time people think you have no value, you need to always turn around and say they don't know what they are talking about because God loves you. You are so valuable. Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 5 says, God knew you before you were formed in your mother's womb. He already knew your name. He already had a plan for you. Hallelujah. Matthew chapter 6 verse 26 says, he even knows the number of hairs on your head. Your hairs have been numbered by God. 
he knows hair number one, hair number two, hair 10,000. That's how special you are. John 3.16 says, God loved the world so much. If you were the only one in the world, he would still love you so much. And he gave his son that you may not perish, that you may have eternal life. The first person we need to love us is God. The second person is your parent, your dad, your mother. So I have to say this again. Parents, show affection for your children. Make sure your children know that you love them. Make sure you tell them every day that you are special. You are wonderful. You are valuable. Hallelujah. Make sure you tell your children what they know that they are, that they are so valuable. So that when a stranger tells your daughter that they are special, let your daughter tell them, I know that because my dad tells me every day. When a stranger tells your son that you are unique, let your son be able to say that, I know that because my dad tells me every day. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Tell them every day that they are priceless, that they are phenomenal, that they are special, such that they can have a blanket of love around them. Hallelujah. Your children, even you yourself, you also need to know that not everybody has to like you. If some people don't like you, that is okay. That does not mean that you have a problem. Not everybody has to like you. Not everybody has to be your friend. Never do anything to get people to like you. No. Never do anything to make people to love you. No. You are already loved. You are already loved. Hallelujah. The devil came to Jesus and told him, If you are the Son of God, turn the stones into bread. And Jesus did not do it. Because Jesus did not need the devil's approval. He already knew that he was a son of God. Not everybody has to like you. No, 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 no. You don't need to prove anything. Yes. If you're seated with somebody, tell them you don't have to like me. God already likes me too much. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. The other things you have to know is that People come and people go. Do not chase after people. They come and they go. If they don't greet you anymore, let them go. If they don't like your Facebook picture, let them go. If they don't come to your church, let them go. People come and people go. It does not mean that you have no value. No, no, no. You are so valuable. You are so precious in the sight of God. Hallelujah. First John chapter 2 verse 19 says, They went out from us, but they, don't, they did not really belong to us. For if they had belonged to us, they would have remained with us. But their going showed that none of them belonged to us. Some people will leave and others will come. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. God richly bless you. Let's finish this next week on Monday. And I want to tell you that God wants to heal every wound of rejection. Have a good day. Bye.